video is sponsored by The Great Courses Plus, but more on that later. Hey everybody, so welcome to another vlog with me, America. I am a first year surgery intern. It is almost Christmas. Next week is going to be my Christmas break, so I'm gonna be off for a week during the holidays to go visit my family. I am super, 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 super so excited to go see them, but until then, we still have work to do. I'm currently on my robotics rotation, where the surgeons are experts in using a huge da Vinci robot to do their surgery. It's a very cool, awesome rotation that I really enjoyed. So if you guys wanna see this holiday edition vlog, then keep on watching. I'm about to go to sleep. Um, it is about, do you ever get a message that is so dumb that you don't even know what to, okay, anyway. Um, so it is currently 10 o'clock. It is way past my bedtime. It is time to hit the hay, go to sleep and rise early in the morning for another cold freezing day <laughs> to the hospital. Um, everything is packed where there are my clothes that I'm going to wear and over there is my cat with my bed. I also hopefully will get my COVID vaccine within the next couple of days so I'll keep you guys updated on that. All right everybody I will see you in the morning. Oh, good morning, everybody. Let's get ready for work. It is so cold right now. <laughs> Lately, all I've been trying to do in the morning is just make my hair look presentable and my face presentable because I'm a little bit tired looking. <laughs> Is it too much black? Whatever, it's fine. I don't have enough fashion sense at 6.15, holy crud, I'm late. All right, well, I'm gonna go to work, guys, and um, go around on a patient, get someone ready for surgery, and then I have to change for the OR, and then clinic afterwards. So if you wanna come with me, then let's go. Hopefully we get that vaccine today, by the way. Goodbye, Calyx. Be good while I'm done. Hey guys, just got back from the OR. We did a sleeve gastrectomy today. Now I'm trying to scoff down this this dry spaghetti. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got COVID two weeks ago and I can't really taste anything. So I've been eating like plain noodles because it um, doesn't really matter. Let me just eat this really quick. We have another procedure coming in. And then after that we have clinic. So busy day. Sure. Thanks. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> This, this is real life. <laughs> Why do I always have car problems? What does this say? Oh my goodness. As I came into AM, your bumper was lying in front of your car. <laughs> so whoever hit me left their bumper and I'm taking it. <laughs> I, they are not going to be able to reuse this. All right, well, that was a great way to use my lunch break. Let's go back to work. <laughs> Ooh, so pretty. Christmas time. All right, well, my upper level has been gracious enough to let me leave so that I can put the pieces of my life back together. So let, putting up the scrubs and let's go um, contact my car insurance, because that's fun. Or we can try to go find, because I have the bumper to the truck that hit me, we can go try to see if I can find the truck in that parking garage who's missing a bumper. It's like Cinderella and the sh crystal shoe, except, except um, in a really bad way. <laughs> uh, hi everybody, I have um, a new medical student. What's her name? I'm Tia, I've been a long time caller <laughs> America right there, Dr. America right there. Yeah, she found me in the stairwell. <laughs> I just have to say hello. Guys, this is how close I am to losing it. <laughs> this is the bumper. And look at this guy's bumper. <laughs> so good news is I know who did it and I, I they asked for their bumper back. 
Are you kidding me? You're gonna get your bumper back when you admit fault to the insurance company and not one second before. Oh my god, y'all, plot twist. The person who left me this note, this was the person who actually hit my car. And they probably just wrote this and put it on my car so that everyone would think they left their information. I hate people. Alrighty guys, awesome night so far. I am watching Forrest Gump in bed with my cat. Look at these awesome slippers that I got from Barnes & Noble. Sometimes I wonder when I'm gonna grow up because I'm in my late 20s and it should really happen sometime soon. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Hey guys, so I'm back in the OR having fun with my team, with my med stud who doesn't want to be in it. He was running away from me even though I'm not showing her the camera. I want to show the camera on you. <laughs> Um, about to do a case. I think it's our only case and then who knows what happens later. <sighs> okay, so that patient coded. <sighs> oh, goodness. It is just too time. Yeah. Okay, finally some time to I got this balm like 11, 12 dollars. <laughs> Some sunlight and a deck. This was supposed to be an easy day. This was supposed to be one case, no problems. It's just a lot, but I'm living for it because we're taking care of business. Dang, not bad for cafeteria food. All right, guys, momentary cease fire. We saved some lives today. Patients are doing well. Like I, I'm looking at someone who is just dying in front of me, dying. I, like, I already imagine all of the brain death that's going on. And, and then they just, they walk out of the hospital. That patient's probably gonna be out here very soon. And I just can't believe it. Like, you know, you, you read about CPR, you learn how to do it, but it just saved this guy's life. Like, if we would not have done that, this person would have died. No questions asked. And now they get live to see another day. Watching scrubs. <sighs> I've been so wired for the past... Uh, few hours actually like seven hours that I'm pretty exhausted right now and I could honestly go to sleep which I think I might do because there's lots of blankets around all right well uh work shall end soon peace all right now we're having a heart attack <laughs> why okay guys I feel like that day would never end but the day full of filled with so many surprises is officially over and I am going to go somewhere where I know can always make me feel better. <laughs> the true fans already know. When patients ask how you stay so positive and energetic, the answer is sushi. All right guys, so it is Saturday morning. It is freezing outside. It's like 20 degrees. Um, so I have my jacket on. I'm ready to go to work. This will be a really quick day. I'm um, just going to run on my patients really quick. Um, and then I will be right back. So be right back. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes I almost forget. <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> doing some medicine round guys well not medicine but I'm checking on my patients who need medical treatment so in surgery there's lots of medicine it's not just surgery I don't know why I'm emphasizing my attending bought me Starbucks <laughs> my attending asked all of us residents all right I have some COVID vaccines available who needs to go get it and I was like well I've already gotten COVID if anyone else wants to go get it <laughs> and every resident around me was like Oh, I already got it too. So, I'm getting it. Social distance. This is our consent form. Alrighty guys, got the vaccine. Have my sticker. 
and I will go back uh, the 9th for my second one. Yay! Now we have to sit here um, and be monitored for 20 minutes to make sure we don't have a vaccine reaction. So far it looks good. My <laughs> deltoid looks good though. Just kidding. It's kind of unfortunate because my hospital has extra vaccines available. And look how busy the lobby is. <laughs> A lot of people are really scared of it, which makes sense. Like, if I didn't see it all the time, if I didn't know how horrible it was, maybe I would be scared too, but maybe like, I'll kind of document my reaction to it and how, um, how it affects me. And then maybe everyone can see for themselves and make a, a realistic opinion about how important or not important this vaccine is. Spoiler alert, I think it's very important, but. <laughs> okay guys i'm gonna be as honest as possible about my reaction after the vaccine i don't know if i'm just like tripping or what but like before i left somebody was like hey make sure you don't get bell's palsy after the vaccine which i haven't really investigated that but i feel like i feel like some facial tingling i don't know if i'm tripping like it could be like because it's cold outside but i just feel like weirdness all right guys so i'm just cleaning my apartment right now I uh, just got done vacuuming and now I'm cleaning the countertops. Um, I do feel like periodic waves of being like flushed. Like I, my face looks completely normal but I like get like these waves of feeling like whoa. I'm a little bit tired. I get that tingling sensation. I also kind of feel it in my arm as well. It's like the, a very slight tingling like right here and here. I don't know if it's because I've already gotten it. I got it pretty recently. I had COVID like two weeks ago. So if my body's kind of reaction reacting to this antigen like whoa no not this guy again. One thing that I need to do is so I don't really think I have my sense of smell back. So I'm gonna see if uh, I can smell this candle. Enjoying some fish and rice. I am very, very hungry. Um, the tingling and every symptom that I had is pretty much gone right now. I don't know if it's with my foods here, but. Laundry day. A sea of blue. <laughs> Doing something I never do. Get exercise. <laughs> oh. I like to walk, sometimes run, recollect. It's a great time for me to just like really think about things. Exercise is always good for you. So it's a way to stay fit, get some sunlight. I really recommend it if you feel like you're someone who's always low on energy and kind of missing something. I think getting close to nature is always a really good idea. Alrighty, I suppose we should start doing some work. guys me and calyx are gonna go to sleep we have a call day tomorrow so long long day it's gonna be from seven to seven <sighs> i'm so tired but then after that we have holiday vacation for a whole week so kind of excited i'll see you tomorrow good morning everybody so i have new updates on my shot uh oh god my arm hurts so bad like it woke me up from my sleep how sore I am right here and also it goes down to my elbow. It feels like I have a giant bruise on my elbow but I don't. Yeah! When I'm out, which is at 7 o'clock, um, I have a plane 
back to my hometown in Texas, which will be my first time visiting. I'm really nervous to travel, but this is kind of my last and only opportunity to travel to my hometown for a while. It's just gonna be me and my mom and my brother. For Christmas, we've canceled every other Christmas plan. Calyx is coming with me as well because we live way too far to drive. So he'll be going in an airplane, which is his first time. All right, well, I will see you at work. God, I look really tired. <laughs> Oh, our case. Like, just didn't want to drink. Oh, oh my god. Finally done with the work. I'm so stressed out and tired. People needing so many things, so many things happening all the time. It's enough to make you go insane. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, why isn't this my car working? But no, this is just another beat up Malibu. <laughs> Where's my beat up Malibu? There it is, pride and joy. I'm just gonna put this somewhere over there. Alrighty, trying to pack very quickly. Unfortunately, I will have to pack the cat as well. <laughs> Ooh, so much shiny. Please don't embarrass me at the airport, Calyx. All packed and ready to go to the airport. Only thing left to do is get my suitcases and pack that thing. A little update on the vaccine. My elbow doesn't hurt anymore from the shot, but um, I do still have a little bit of soreness at the injection site. Otherwise, I feel completely fine and great. All right, guys, let's go. So Calyx ended up embarrassing me on that airplane just like I thought he would. Unfortunately, this is a connecting flight, so I had to give him his anxiety medication. I really didn't want to give it to him because he just starts acting drunk. How's that sedation working for you? back in my family home all the way back in Houston, Texas, just visiting my mom and my brother for the week. So I film my videos entirely and then I edit them at the end. So I don't really know how this video will end up, but I have a feeling that this video will seem like I have a lot of stress in my life, which is true, but in the end, I'm very, very thankful about everything in my life, literally everything, my health, my family, my job, just everything. I'm especially grateful for you guys and I hope that all of you guys have an amazing holiday in the midst of everything that is happening. If you're still thinking for a great Christmas gift for one of your family members or friends, may I recommend The Great Courses Plus. So as you guys can see from watching this video, I do have a lot of stressors in my life and it has never been more important to find out how stress affects me and what I can do to make the stress go away. And I'm not talking ibuprofen or Tylenol. I mean like genuine long-term coping mechanisms that you can still every day in your life to live a life that you actually enjoy. The Great Courses Plus is an on-demand video learning service with top-notch courses and lectures from the best professors from all over the world, professors from Ivy League University, or, or from places like the National Geographic, the Smithsonian, or the 
Culinary Institute of America. Through your subscription, you get access to a huge library with over 11,000 video lectures over any subject that interests you, including math, science, art, cooking, or in my case, learning how stress affects me my health, and what I can do better. And like I alluded to in the beginning, The Great Courses Plus offers gift subscriptions that you can give to family members and friends who you think would enjoy learning something valuable and new. If you were to try The Great Courses Plus, the video lectures over stress in your body is really great. It talks about how stress affects your heart, but also how you overeat, and even how you develop as a child and then it talks about great coping mechanisms in the last episode. If you learn how bad prolonged stress can be, you'll want to be a better coworker and a better colleague or better friend or better doctor to your patients. The Great Courses Plus is offering my subscribers a free trial. So show support to this channel by subscribing to The Great Courses Plus today. You can get the free trial by following the link down below or this URL, thegreatcoursesplus.com slash America. So give the gift of knowledge or start your own free trial with The Great Courses Plus today. Thank you guys so much. I love you all so much. I wish you the best holidays. Please stay safe. Please don't get sick and get your vaccine. Um, by the way, I'm feeling a lot better and I am being completely honest when I say that I don't really have any side effects. So I think it's pretty safe. I'll let you know um, if there's any more long-term side effects, but overall I'm pretty happy that I got it and I would recommend it to everybody who can get it. All right, well thank you everybody and I will see you in my next video. Bye!